Good day, uh, you know, good work day for us uh, this morning. Uh, you know, I thought the guys came out with with uh, you know nice energy. Um, you know, continue to carry that over from last week and Sunday. Uh, you know, definitely you know pleased with the mindset that we're bringing. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a flawless practice, but it was one that uh, you know I thought the the intensity level, the, the competition. Um, you know, the response to, to mistakes that were made and to continue to push for improvement, um, you know, it was, it was pleasing to see. So, um, you know, I know our guys are excited about the opportunity to play. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, it's been a long time since we've, we've got a chance to, to compete in a, in a game. And so uh, these guys are continuing to, to prepare, uh, you know, at a high level. And uh, you know, that's, all, that's what you can ask for as a coach. And, yeah, I thought that uh, they got got the week started off the right way. We've got to continue uh, continue on with that here as the, the week progresses. Uh, can you just talk about Duke and uh, what do you see from their team and also David Cutcliffe and the job that he's done there? Yeah, you know, just a, a, an incredibly coached football team. Um, you've got all the respect in the world for Coach Cut. And I mean, the, uh, you look at throughout his career, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's so impressive to see, you know, it's, you know, with the, the challenges that they present, you know, schematically, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, really in all phases, you know, uh, you, you look at them, I mean, whether it's a pump, you know, their pump block unit, uh, you know, you make an impact in game changing plays. You, you see, you know, offensively the things that they can do with structures, personnel, uh, utilizing the, the personnel that they have and then defensively, uh, you know, very multiple in their approach of, of how they attack. And, uh, you know, I know they've had, they've had, uh, you know, some, some disappointments throughout the course of the year. You know, this is an uncharacteristic year for them, uh, you know, and the number of turnovers that they've had. Um, but, you know, this is a team that's capable of playing really good football. And they've, they've shown those flashes uh, throughout the throughout the season. You know, the thing that's hurting us when they have turned the ball over. So, uh, you know, we've got to make sure that, uh, you know, as a, for our team, that we're not giving them extra possessions. That if we can get a, get an opportunity to get our hands on the ball uh, in off or on defense and in special teams, that we take advantage of those opportunities. But uh, uh, we know that, that we're, get, we're we're about to play a very uh, very well coached team that's going to come in and, and compete at a high level. Coach, this might be a little bit of a Florida boy question, but have you seen any of the team responding to the fact that it's cold and like it hasn't happened at all so far this year? Uh, we we practiced hard today. We you know it was good. To, I mean that's that was the response that I needed to see. And uh, you know it, it was it was cold to to Tallahassee standards. So I mean it was uh, I guess I guess that was a, a little bit of a difference. But you know our guys uh, uh, they approached it the right way and uh, we went out and got working. Hey, Coach, I want to ask about, I guess, obviously you weren't the coach here when Janarius kind of went through the process of losing his house due to the hurricane. I know over the weekend he posted about that they're, they're close to kind of having that again. I don't know how much he's kind of talked to you about that, but I guess just how much has that come up between you all? I mean, obviously it's a tough thing for anyone to go through. And just in general, what has he meant to the program this year? Well, you know, uh, it, that, that came up in our, our very first conversation and, um, you know, just trying to get a sense of, of who he is and, uh, you know, his time here at Florida State. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we, uh, he actually came up and, you know, we, we were able to have, have a conversation last night, just, uh, you know, kind of one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, you know, I think that you, you look at his career and there's been some, some ups and downs, you know, in all aspects, you know, on the field, off the field, um, you know, just, uh, you know, what, you know, having to deal with so much change throughout the course of his career. And, um, you know, we're continuing to push him. You know, and we're going to push him to the very end to to to, to have that mindset of, of improvement, of maxing out the opportunity, and uh, you know, really, you know, he's one of the guys that I, I'd say in the in the last uh, the last week, you know, you see an older guy in their career um, that you know that hasn't had as much as much of the emotional um, you know swings that we faced here late in the season, and uh, you know, he's really responded the right way, and uh, you know, I think that, you know this last week and a half has probably been his best week and a half in preparation. Um, and what he's doing, and you know, challenged him, uh, challenged him even last night, just to uh, to make sure that we continue that throughout the course of the week, and, and go play your best ball. This is his last home game, um, you know, that uh, for this season, and, and potentially for his career. And so, um, you know, go go make the most of it. But uh, you know, he's a, he's a great young man. He's got a servant's heart. Um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for some of the the steps that I'm seeing. You know, even here late in this season, for him just trying to be uh, the uh, the best version of himself. Thanks, Hey, Coach. Um, I was wondering if you thought Duke might have a little bit of an advantage um, 
because, you know, they've been able to play uh, the past uh, two weeks, even though, you know, they were still uh, losses, but, you know, they were able to have that, that game experience. Um, and if you thought that might be a little advantage or if you thought maybe you guys might possibility come out a little rusty since you haven't played since uh, November 12th. Yeah, you know, that's something that, you know, and really our, our focus is on, our, on ourselves uh, when it comes to that, you know, it's whenever you don't get to play in a game, you know, for as long as it's been for us, you know, we, we've got to make sure that we're sharp in, in all aspects. And um, it's one of the things that uh, you we talk to our guys about is bringing that game type approach to every, every practice. And, you know, we want that to be the standard and, uh, you know, continue to prepare at that level so that, you know, you, you keep that edge about you. And, um, you know, we know that uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of excitement come Saturday, and you know, we're going to have to go out there and uh, you know, make sure we're able to harness that that uh, uh, that emotion, and uh, you'll be able to go out and execute at a very high level. And uh, you know, it's, that's why uh, the way that we prepare, the, the mindset that we bring, and uh, you know, the, uh, the the overall approach in, in, in all those in all those situations is going to be critical. So you know, that's that's it's it's more of a concern on our end, just uh, that we can you know. You know, stay focused on on the on the details and uh, being able to, with with all the emotion, being able to go out there and, and play the game the way that we're capable of playing it. Uh, the Senior Bowl people, uh, I guess, announced last week that Hamza has agreed to play in the Senior Bowl. Um, I was just curious, did you guys have any kind of conversations about any possibility of him? Come, was he conflicted at all about possibly coming back next year? And uh, and uh, you've talked about it before about what he's uh, meant to this team I guess in the season even when he couldn't play but I was wondering if you could reflect on that again you know we've had conversations uh, you, know, uh, you know throughout you know even early part of the season while he was in his re- rehabilitation process um, you know I was I was excited that he was extended the opportunity for the senior bowl you know he did accept that and um, you know we're going to finish out the season and uh, you know he's going to go play play his best ball and uh, you know I really believe that his his best, best days are in front of him uh, you know, I, I've got all the respect in the world for Hamza and, and who he is as a person, the work that he's put in, uh, the teammate he is. I mean, it has been it has been a joy to watch him uh, throughout this process, and uh, you know, he's definitely excited uh, for the games that are that are in front of us. But uh, you know, I think when you get in the, when you when you get an invitation like that, uh, um, you know, you get to make a choice that if, if that is the next step, then you know uh, that's a wonderful wonderful event to to be a part of, and I'm I'm glad that uh, that he did accept that. And, you're just excited about these next couple of games here in front of us. Hey, Coach. Um, and just wondering, I, I know the lack of consistency ha- has been something that this team has struggled with, obviously in games and both in practice. I'm just wondering, since you guys have had so much practice time, um, have you had a chance to, to notice if that's improved yet, or will Saturday kind of be the tall tell sign to see if that carries over? Oh, I mean, it's something that you that you strive for, um, you know, as a, a part of any team is to see that consistent growth and, and how you practice, how you prepare, and then how that does carry over. Uh, you know, a lot of the, the the inconsistencies that we've had in games is, you know, I think part of it's uh, based on personnel, um, just uh, the fact that we've had, uh, you know, so many different uh, combinations and so many different lineups, guys that had to step up and, uh, you know, due to injury, due to other circumstances. Uh, but it's, it's been fun to see the, the guys respond. And especially, you know, here these last, these last few weeks, uh, you know, just, um, you know, their response to, to those situations, you know, having to play as much youth as we've had, uh, not, not having that, that consistent, that consistency in, in our lineup and, uh, you know, with, with, uh, in regards to the personnel, but, you know, that's, that's part of this year and it's part of the adversity that we faced, but, um, you know, I do believe that we're learning through that and uh, we're getting better as, as each day goes by. So um, I'm definitely excited to see it carry over uh, come Saturday. Uh, you all found out last week you're for sure going to be playing a game on the 19th. I know that comes right after the uh, the early signing period. Obviously, that's a situation where a team's normally preparing for a bowl but doesn't have kind of such an immediate game after that. How does that kind of change things, make things more difficult having a game, I mean, the day after the end of the early signing period? Well, you know, it's it is definitely a unique year, and it's uh, unique in all aspects. Um, you know, we're seeing. You know, I would say that here these last few weeks have been as, as different in it, as anything, because these would be the times we'd be norm, normally have uh, you know, being able to go on home visits and uh, being able to get you know in, in front of uh, these families and uh, you know their recruit. You know, obviously the recruits. Um, you know, we'd have official visits. We'd get these kids on campus, and that's that's one of the things that's just you know it's it's 
you know, sad and kind of disappointing just, uh, you know, for, for this year's class. I mean, it's, you know, since the first week of March or uh, whatever, March 12th, uh, you know, we haven't had any opportunity to get these guys on campus. There's guys that, uh, that are, that are making college decisions without, you know, really ever having an opportunity to step on the, on that campus and, uh, you know, with a new staff and you know, some of the things that we're working through, uh, we're making it the best that we possibly can, you know, virtually and, and being able to share that vision, um, you know, in, in some aspects, you know, do we're trying to utilize uh, uh, the nights to, to have some of these, you know, virtual home visits and you know, making sure that we are connecting, you'll know, be able to answer a lot of the questions that that uh, that are there. But, you know, it's just such a different year. And, uh, you know, it's just just like anything else that we tell our players, you got to adapt and adjust. Uh, but just trying to trying to uh, uh, present, you know, all the things that Florida State has to offer. And, uh, you know, obviously excited about what the future holds. So you and Mike, I, I believe that today is a, a year since you accepted the FSU job and, and were announced. I know it's been a, a pretty crazy year, I guess. What would have been, a, one, the biggest challenge of this year one at Florida State? And then on a positive note, I guess, what are areas of growth that you've seen from yourself individually and in the program? Oh, well, you know, it's been, a, it, it's been definitely a, a very unique year. And it's been one that's... Uh, uh, it's been tremendous joy. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be here and to be able to work with these players, to be able to work uh, and represent this university. Um, it is, you know, every day is a is a growing process for us, and uh, you know, we are we are building this program uh, to that in, in a way to to truly have a foundation that is that is that is capable and ready to to take that next step to getting us back to where we're to where we need to be, uh, you know, as as a program, and uh, to see the the the, the consistent work of our players and the, the belief and the, the the growth that we've had throughout this year is something that, that, that I'm excited about. I mean, you, you look at a roster that's, you know, 75%, you know, freshmen or sophomores. I mean, it is, I mean, there's, there's some, some, the learning experience that we faced and some adversity that has shown up that, uh, um, you know, it, it definitely challenges you. It challenges you emotionally. It challenges you physically just with the, the length of the season, you know, uh, you know, some of the things that, uh, uh, that we face without having a full off season, you know, not having a spring practice, not having to see you know, the, 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 the prep that, that build up, that built up uh, there with our summer training, but these kids have just, uh, you know, they've went out there, uh, you know, they've continued to work, you know, there is a, it's a, there is a very bright future in, in store for this program and where we're going. And you know, even though it's been a, been a crazy year, um, you know, there's just so much joy that I have for being here at Florida state. And, and I know uh, for what the future holds. Obviously, you want to win on Saturday, but this is what are some other things that you want to see from this team, considering you hadn't played in 28 days? You know, I want to see us continue to, to take those positive steps in, in, in the right direction with, with the you know, oral execution, uh, communication, situational awareness. Uh, you know, you're seeing, the, you know, a relentless effort and mindset, uh, you know, to, to to, to go out there and take a plan that we have in place and, and to be able to execute that to the best of our ability on you know, defense, you know, understanding what we're trying to take away, you know, there's you know, every, every, uh, you know, call that we have, uh, you know, is, is trying to put us in a position uh, to go and, and achieve and, and achieve in, in a successful manner. And you, to, to, when you see the, the confidence that you have in understanding the responsibility and the job, and then, you know, being able to, to cut it loose and go play at, at, at a very high level offensively, uh, you know, just that consistent, to, the consist, consistent execution with uh, you'll be able to establish drives, you know, just seeing the growth in our, in our uh, you know, third and fourth down situations. And then, you know, uh, you know, getting a chance to see the explosiveness and those playmakers uh, emerge. Those are, those are things that are critical, critical for us. And then, you know, you know, continue to, to develop there in our special teams units. And uh, that's something that we spend a lot of time and make a lot of investment in, in the fundamentals and uh, you'll, you'll, you know, implementing those game plans. And, you know, just you really seeing our guys play with the confidence from, from the work that they put in and um yeah, that's what it's that's probably one of the toughest things over the last few you know, month is that you have we've had i guess it's two or three different game plans that we're going into weeks with and you you you, you want to see that you see the preparation you you build in the confidence of what you're what you're about to go do and then you know just not having the opportunity to execute that and to really you'll know, be able to to to, to judge, you know, those steps that have taken place. And so it's going to be big. It's going to be big. You'll get an opportunity to go do that on Saturday. And I know our guys are definitely excited, excited for the opportunity. Just going back to recruiting, um, do you feel like, I mean, I, 
it seems like first year coaches obviously were in a tougher situation this year than other coaches, even though it's tough on everybody because you guys hadn't been here to build those relationships previously. Um, do you feel like going forward that everybody's going to be kind of on the same footing, even in the sense of, um, you know, we don't know when visits are ever going to open up again, but the fact that, you know, for 2022 kids, everybody's pretty much close to the same starting line. Yeah, I, I think so. I think when you look at 22, 23, you know, those, those next classes, uh, you know, we, we've had a lot of investment in building, uh, uh, building relationships, uh, uh, you know, even moving forward with, with that. And we know that uh, we've had some, some of uh, the early year uh, or the, the, uh, earlier year uh, players that are in those classes that, that were able to get here, uh, you know, in January and early in March. And uh, you were excited about the, the start that we have there. Um, but, uh, you know, on the flip side, it's, uh, it, it, it definitely, uh, there's a lot in those classes that haven't been many places. And so, you know, to be able to, uh, to, to invest in a relationship, you know, obviously, you know, the, uh, these kids see the what what what, what we're building and the, the foundation that is that's being laid and you know what we're what we're working to accomplish and so uh, you know I'm excited about uh, being able to put that on display you know here here moving forward and uh, you're getting these kids on campus you know there uh, you know I guess ap- after April 15th and uh, you just uh, you'll be able to to build those re- relationships in, in all aspects and uh, you you're definitely excited about those uh, those classes upcoming and you know the, the the finish to the class that we're that we're uh, about to uh, sign here in the early uh, signing period as well as uh, you know there in February. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys.